It is time to go back to class. We all know that every day more and more people are moving to Central Texas. Of course, everyone who moves here has to find a place to live. That's right. But as more homes become available, well, so does the need for realtors. That's exactly why a high school real estate program at Dripping Springs ISD is so popular. The first time that a student, a former student, mailed me their business card with a thank you note was a really powerful moment. Mike Lemons to the left loves teaching. So this is where the seller finds the buyer. His enthusiasm is palpable. And it really motivates me to want to continue to learn. In Lemons' class, you don't want to get into a losing situation right off the bat. Dripping Springs High School students are learning about real estate. Yeah, let's talk about protection periods. But this two semester course is especially unique. We're pretty much the only high school in Texas that has a class that allows you to get your real estate license. I think that's so cool. That's very cool. Look at that first chart. As a former realtor. I was in commercial real estate. Lemons has the credentials to teach the program. And what do you think I'm getting at? Which combines classroom lessons. And what that means. With field trips. Let's head off to the bus. Adopting such an innovative course <laughs> took a few years and a lot of back and forth conversations Come on. with the Texas Education Agency. There's a process that you have to go through, but they, they work with you so closely to try to, um, you know, help you reach the goal of creating that course. Contracts, APRs, appraisals, there's a lot of lingo to learn. Most students, and some adults honestly, don't really have a base knowledge of it all. There's a big learning curve at the beginning of the year, but there's like a light bulb that goes off at some point and they really see the benefit of learning these things and why they can be so valuable to them in the future. Students must be 18. We were at her earlier in the year. And have 180 hours to sit for the May exam at the Texas Real Estate Commission. We had a photographer come in. If they pass, they can get their real estate license. After I get my license, I'm planning on doing two internships this spring, actually, so that hopefully I can make my way into a real estate career as soon as the summer starts, right before college. It's such a great backup plan to have in case like my career goals don't work out the way I want them to. The guest house also connects into that area. And that's exactly what Lemons had in mind. Real estate could be a student's plan A or B. Either way, it's a helpful tool. There's a separate mother-in-law house here that's oh at like a three, like a two bed. <laughs> Isn't that Amazing. incredible? You know, something that's become really popular in real estate is virtual staging. So if you saw that house, mm -hmm. it wasn't really complete inside. Well, it looks rather empty. However, they use virtual pictures in order to sell, you know, different furniture, different cabinets. That way the buyer can say, well, I do like this, but mm -hmm. I'd rather the walls are white or the cabinets are gray. That way the actual buyer can custom design wow. the way they want it to. And they don't waste that time making it a certain way and then having to change it. So smart for those young people yeah. to think so forward smart. like that. I mean, like you said, plan A or plan B. Doesn't matter. Or yeah. plan C. You have plenty yeah. of options if you've got skill like that to and, do something. And if you're trying to make some cash, you know, oh. while you're going to college, you don't have to be a waiter or waitress, which there's nothing wrong with that, yeah. but you can do something else. You can be a real estate agent. Nothing wrong with it, but man, selling yeah. houses, you can make some pretty good money if yeah. you do that well. Seriously. No doubt about it.